So what is going on, you beautiful people? You've seen the title. You've seen the thumbnail. Um, yeah, today we're going to be going over all of the armor that's in the game and exactly where to get them all. So I think the easiest way to start this is uh, by joining the discord.gg forward slash death squad that is a free and coming over to the Twitch on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I definitely tried is a free. Yesterday we took on the uh, Lestari and the Coom Haribu with the Dow. So it was pretty fun. Uh, we didn't manage to do so well, but if you want to know more, then wait for that video, obviously. But um, yeah. The armors that we've got currently in the game that have been added is the Abyssal, the Buccaneer's Oath, the Leviathan, and the Rhapsody of the Deep, and the Storm Woven. And in this, I'm going to be showing you exactly what they do, and obviously how to get them. So to start off with, uh, we're going to go to the Black Market, because this is where you can get a couple of them, which is pretty cool. And uh, my favorite one is actually sitting in here, so I'll go on that one. So obviously, you arrive at Yanita Nara, go ahead and talk to her, and open the Black Market. When you're here in the black market, you should be able to go down all the way to where the new armors are, which are right at the very bottom of this list. So here we can see we've got the Storm Woven and we've got the Buccaneers. Oh, so let's start off with the Storm Woven and what its benefits are. So it's a full orchestra upon the waves. May their voices be your shield. So this armor has got explosive, flooding, and piercing protection all at 25%. Uh, it does have a perk though. This is where it could be really good. We haven't I haven't made a build of this yet uh, I am thinking of a build and I'm thinking that this this perk is gonna go really good with a brigantine build But a brigantine ramming build and the reason of that is because this crescendo has holding brace charges up to a sonic attack Dealing up to 6,000 damage to surrounding hostiles up to 125 meters away when fully charged so Technically, when you hit someone with a ramming build, i.e. the Brigantine, because it hits so hard when you ram, and you release the Crescendo at the same time, you get an additional 6,000 damage on that. Now, this could work, again, with a snow. You're getting bombarded or people trying to crew attack you. The minute they're trying to crew attack you, you hold the brace, and you can release it and get 6,000 damage. I don't think it's that effective because 6,000 damage is not a lot, considering every time you fire a bombard at someone or something like that, you're hitting about two to 3,000 damage. So uh, just litting off an array of bombards on the side of your ship, you're getting, obviously, over 12,000 damage. So this is not that great, and it does take about a good five seconds to charge up to the full. But, however, on a ramming build, it might be really good because you can just release it on the ram and could cause extra damage which overall should really cause a lot of harm moving on to the next one which is currently my favorite armor in the game is a buccaneer's oath uh, and the reason of this is not because of the armor or anything i mean it has got higher armor rating than this and now we do excuse the armor that you see in there it's because i've got furniture this one's actually uh, 1150 and this one is 1200 but because of the armors, uh, the furniture I've got on, it's boosted up. But it's 1,200. It's got explosive, flooding, fire, and piercing. So it does cover a lot more across the board, but in lower percentages. But the perk on this is broken, guys. And when I mean broken, the Buccaneer's Oath is so broken because destroying a target confers the blood and gold status on your ship, which increases weapon damage and armor by 25% for 30 seconds. Now, this does not uh, deplete if you destroy another ship within them 30 seconds, there's no cooldown. It just constantly resets. So if you're doing PvE and you're using a sandbook, for instance, and you blow up a ship, which you could blow up really easy, you're immediately getting that damage and armor buff. Plus, um, if you're in PvP and you're going against someone, you can look at one of them little small ships in the ocean, quickly blow them up, and now the person that's fighting you has got to deal with 25% extra damage and armor that you have got against them, which yet again is absolutely strong. So that is going over, obviously, the Buccaneers, Oath, and the Storm Woven. Now let's talk about the Rhapsody of the Deep. Firstly, how do you get it? Well, the Rhapsody of the Deep uh, is, is something that you get now in the Smuggler's Pass, and it is in the Shipmaster tree. I've completed the Smuggler's Pass without buying a single one. And the game's been out just, or season two's been out just over a week. Here you can see level 11 in the Shipmaster. Now you can't actually get the details by looking at it here. So let's quickly just pull up the inventory so we can actually see what it looks like. And let's go down all the way to the armor. So here we go. We're on the Rhapsody of the Deep. Uh, and then we can see it's got um, 1150 armor. It's got explosive 20%. Flooding 35%, fire 20%. So it's pretty good against flooding build. Uh, especially, it's it should be good in PvP because of the top perk, which is unsinkable. So this might be really good in a Brigantine, so you've constantly got more armor. Um, but you can see here, while bracing, the effects of being afflicted uh, with flooding is negated. Sorry, I've, I've, I've 
I've given you the description of the completely wrong one. Here. So this one is good against a torpedo build or a flooding build. Sorry. Uh, while bracing, the effects of being afflicted with flooding is negated and reduces damage from torpedoes by 25%. And buy an additional 25% while bracing. So if, you, if so, you're going against a torpedo build, which they're going to be uh, some torpedo builds in this season that are going to be pretty strong. This is going to stop 50% of that damage. So it's pretty uh, cool in that sense. Now, the other one you can get, which is Abyssal. This, the exact way you get it, um, you can apparently uh, get this by, obviously, um, you could buy the Abyssal 1. Purchased from the ruins of Lukkan Outpost. And the Abyssal 2 is just a random well drop. I have I had it from um, doing, obviously, uh, the Cutthroat Cargoes is where I got one. And another one was taken out a convoy. I managed to get one in one of my gold-like chests. So it is completely random on how to get this one. There's no exact way of getting it. So the Abyssal Armor is really good against what is going to be the best builds in the game, which is Sandbook builds. And I'm going to be releasing a video of a Sandbook build. And it melts everyone. So this one is going to be armor that a lot of people are going to need. For one, it's got really high uh, armor rating, 1284. Explosive rating, 23. Fire, 33. And piercing, 17. Reduces duration of a blaze effect by 33%. So the abyssal armor might be a key armor for people to use when I release my sandbook build video. Now, the last but not least, we can see this one here, which is the Leviathan armor. Now, the Leviathan armor has got 12, uh, 30, obviously, with my armor. It's got flooding, 23%, fire, 18%, and piercing, 35%. Every knot of sailing speed increases armor by 1% and reduces weak point damage by 20%. So, um, if you are going against someone who's hitting precision shots and stuff like that, or you want to just be, if you're constantly in motion using uh, a brigantine or anything that's constantly in motion in PvP, PvE, you're following a convoy, you're always going to have bonus armor. Rather than the Buccaneers Oath where you need a little bit of skill where you need to proc the bonus armor by killing something, just by keeping in motion without torn sails, this is giving you a load of extra armor. So, I believe, guys, that is all of the new armor that's in the game. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. I didn't drag it on too long. Um, but, yeah, come over to the Twitch on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I definitely tried it. It is free. And then also, like I said before, um, come over to the Discord, discord.gg forward slash uh, death squad the e is a free and over there we have got all the information all the updates and there's loads of furniture i'm going to be going over in the next video loads of weapons are going to be going over in the video after that um so if you guys are interested in this oh and one thing i do want to know if you do want to get a bit of a better understanding as to where to find all of this you can go over to the helm.gg the link is in the description if i bring this page up right now screen capture you can see here on the helm.gg we can see all of the different armors on here. And if you want to know how to get that, you just go here to the Kingpin's Handbook. Uh, and then when you're here, you would click on Armor, Furniture or Weapons. Clicking on the armor, uh, you would have uh, here Season 2 armor. Obviously, you can see Season 1 armor. So if you weren't here, part of Season 1, you could go on there and you could see all the different armors that were here in Season 1. Or just in general, you want to know all the armors and what they can do because uh, you don't have it. It also tells you where you can get it from as well by looking at this. So this is a really, really good website um, to, to basically understand everything that is in the game and where you can get it from. So hopefully this video helped, guys. Like, follow, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.